No, because legally they have to provide 911 service during a blackout, and if you have their digital voice, it runs off the power from your house and not off, you know, over the copper line power like regular phones do. Huh. So they have to put in a battery backup. Do you know when they'll be uh, leaving? Um, no, but it's, I think it's within, before the end of the year. Huh. That's what the installer guy told me anyway. Ouch. That was fun as hell. Yeah, we're in New Hampshire, where it's like not the South, and it's really hot up here. So what is? Wait, it's hot in up there right now. So is Verizon yeah. leaving DSL? By our standards. Or how hot is it up there? I think just. I don't know. What's the, what's the temperature, you guys? Eighty something. Yeah. Yeah. Probably about eighty-five. Yeah. Eighty-five, twenty. Okay. High humidity. Yeah. It's been over a month. It's been like a hundred degrees here. Yeah. Like Harry Potter and Doctor House had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Neck beard. That's um. Diabetes. If you took an egg and put it on the sidewalk, would it fry? Uh, probably. Would you then eat it with toast and jelly? <laughs> <laughs> Only jelly. <laughs> a simple man with simple tastes. <laughs> and those tastes are jelly. Jelly. I'm glad the game is covering all this material with subtitles because people are watching this will not get anything from us apparently. This is going on the internet. Yeah. That's that's the plan. We're trying to make this so epic. Books. Shut them out. <laughs> <laughs> this game does have some seriously good music. It's the best thing about the game. I've got the soundtrack on my iPod and I've listened to it lots of times. Yeah, <laughs> and I gave it to you, and you, you listen to it too. Surrounded by nerds. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's go straight into a new game. Is this the game you get, get to go back to Mr. Bob, 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 <laughs> They're waiting for you, main character. <laughs> Welcome to Black Mesa Research Facility. <laughs> you might notice that her, uh, what she's saying doesn't sync up to her mouth movements. That's because later in production, she learned how to, how to suppress her atrocious French-Canadian accent, so they read up her lines. <laughs> Say poutine every single <laughs> word. <laughs> oh man, through a cave, some light, some water, it's getting fast, there's a lens flare. Watch out. One thing I always had in this game is a rail transport. It's like Dinotopia. <laughs> the movie? The book. But Westo Challenge 5000. <laughs> Depth of field. Stroke her Blurry and focus. Blurry. It's suddenly a Japanese game. <laughs> Stroke her pretty, pretty hair. Uh, it's limited in the range right now. Usually you can turn 360 degrees. Take a picture. Take a picture. Of her panties. <laughs> All right. Tell me the plotline. I demand it. <laughs> well, it's like Pokemon Snap, but with Mist. <laughs> what? Pokemon. Okay. If you actually want to know the plotline, I can tell you. In excruciating detail. Wait, wait, wait. Are you starting the plot? The plot is starting. Fire! Now, what's the plot? Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon that are trying to get the Pokemon that are trying to Okay, at the end of Mist 1, <laughs> Itchers' son, Sirius Nagar. What happened at the beginning of Mist 1? I'll tell Dad you're here. <laughs> fell into, into a book. book. Yeah. It's like falling into the gap. With <laughs> Where'd you find the book that you fall into? The book? The library. The book actually lands in front of you because... Somehow. Actually, it's explained in the Mist novels, which I read, because I'm a nerd. Nerd! <laughs> <laughs> I read the Mist novels, too. Leave her. They were good. 
Yeah, so, um, yeah, Atris's father was like an insane jackass who built worlds because just to be an extra big jerk. And uh, his son trapped him in, in one of his worlds. And when he left that world, he had his soon to be wife, Catherine, like write a rift into that world. And he dove into the rift and then used his linking book to leave. So he got back to where he came from, but the, but the book just went off into nowhere. And then at the beginning of Mist 1, that book lands in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a highly animated cursor. Yeah. It's like black and white. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, so this is panoramic stuff. It's pretty fancy. This is a very pretty game. Yeah. It is good looking. Yeah. I gave up after this. Should have played this one. Wait, 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 wait. Heliocentric model of the solar system? <laughs> Heretic! I don't know if I can deal with that. Yeah. So this is uh, Atris's lab and uh, observatory. So who's the kid? The kid is Yisha, their uh, new daughter. <laughs> oh, my friend. Right is there a book that you can look at that shows the conception process? <laughs> right. Exactly. You'll have to research that on the internet like everyone else, Diabetes. What do you say? Uh -huh. Look up the conception oh, process in a book. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty sure this guy is uh, Poofy Sleeve Nick Pooperson. One of the original designers of the first Myst game. Yep, he is. He's been in the games oh since then. He's like Sam Lee in prison. Only with lines. So they, they kind of retconned some plot in, in here. First from which, uh, the first one. Remember how they were in like special prison ages that weren't like they weren't worlds; they were just kind of empty spaces where people could, could get stuck in. Yep. Apparently, those prison books were actually complete ages that uh, just didn't have any way to get back. I thought he burned them. Yeah, that was apparently a, a ruse. He didn't actually burn them. He just wanted people to think he burned them. Even though you were the only one who saw it happen, it doesn't make so a whole he lot of sense. The and was like, I didn't burn these. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, not not sure my sons. All right, fine. We'll do this frequency puzzle. What did you want okay. you to do? La 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 la. Yeah, this is just loads of fun, guys. Oh, Get to sync up waveforms. It's gonna be a blast. <laughs> Great. Wow. Do not attempt to adjust your television set. <laughs> but you control the vertical, vertical horizontal. Yep. All right. So. We're losing them. It's flatlining. Yeah. <laughs> it's not prone to psychotic behavior at all. <laughs> Almost there. Speed it up. Great Scott. Got it. Hey. I know something all fucking adjustments. Send you a little for spire. Second prison. Yeah, that was the easy one. Here comes. What? <laughs> he told you what to do. Yeah. You know what? Screw this. I don't wanna. <laughs> Can you I don't punch wanna. him or something? Oh, friend, it's not that no. <laughs> Screw you. I just skipped the puzzle. If you solve the puzzle net regularly, then it goes, does go to this bit next. But you can just skip it if you right-click. Which is a good thing to do, because that puzzle never comes up later again, and it was completely pointless. Can you hit him with a crowbar or something? <laughs> Uh, there's no violence in Mist. What? Well, there is some violence towards you, but you can never inflict violence on anything. Yes, and Mist 
follower of the eighth world path. Actually, at one point you see like a book behind like a, a glass cabinets, and the cabinet is locked, so you can't get it. Th then you go somewhere else and come back, and you find the cabinet is smashed open. This is a good fill up to Vice City. Why? <laughs> We're going from chainsawing hookers to this. <laughs> Men of extremes. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of complicated puzzles to get the viewer to work. The viewer does not need to work ever <laughs> oh, for any reason. Yes, we will. Solve all the puzzles and babysit for me. <laughs> Wash my clothes, cook my food. <laughs> You're my new wife now. <laughs> you notice how his door is an elaborate, elaborate spiraling mechanism? Yeah, iris mechanism. Instead of a door? Yeah. When a door would suffice just fine? I kind of <laughs> noticed it when the little girl ran through it, and I was like, oh, that's safe parenting. Yeah. All right, oh, so. did I mention the uh, dinner cooking puzzle? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you. This is uh, This is Tomana. This is... Uh, According to the mist. Call it a tomato. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that on Earth? Yeah, this place is supposedly someplace on Earth. So here's the crystal viewer. It's all smashed up. As we call it a television. <laughs> yeah. Should have got and, the service plan. Uh, there are things that don't work because power is broken. These new places. Service plan. This needs braces. Service plan. This needs braces. Yeah. Service plan. This is actually, this is a diagram of the power system. It's, ah. it's not exactly useful. Very detailed. Uh, that's a, another hint about the antenna for the observatory. That's an antenna? Yep. There, there's an antenna on the top. It's completely pointless. I notice you saying that a lot. Yeah, there's some stuff in, this is like the hub level, there's some pointless stuff here. Is it just like to get you used to it or something? Yeah, there's some tut tutorial stuff in here. Oh, fine, I'll go to regular one place down. Do have some sort of elaborate button pushing puzzle? Of course. You need to turn on the lasers in the fireplace. What? The lasers in the fireplace. Is it really a fireplace if it has lasers? I can think of no better the, way to The lasers don't fire. set anything on fire. Damn, shut up! I don't care anymore. Be a laser place. Is it like the original list where if you have the right panel combination, you can do the game in two seconds? <laughs> it's a reference to that, yeah. But you can't beat this game in a short amount of time. And the proper way to play this is to stop at every point and stare at everything and click on everything. But that would be boring to watch, so I gotta keep going. Maybe the speed run or something? Yeah, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's one thing I hate pretty much games. It's annoying child characters. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so convincing. <laughs> Okay, crazy. <laughs> Only horrors wear jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hurry up to the interesting part of the game, please. My prison brothers. She still talks to the brothers, even though they're nuts in the, in the book. Well, uh, the brothers are currently locked in their prison ages. They can't get back. But they both spend a lot of time and efforts trying to find the uh, linking books that would lead them back to this world. What's so great about this world? It's not a prison age. And it's actually technically Earth. So. Welcome to technically Earth. It's wrong with the prison ages. They kind of suck. One of them is a, uh, a jungle, basically, with a shipwreck, and it's pretty cool. Oh, kind of like. like being unlost. Yeah, the <laughs> other one is a gigantic pointy mountain in the middle of nowhere. It's a room with a moose. <gasps> moose. Yeah. 
I just love all the stuff in this game. Would you marry it? I yeah. would. I would if I could. Kind of fun. <laughs> this is a mature game. <laughs> this is Mist <laughs> Four Adams. <laughs> I want to hear the original uh, accent of her. That would be hilarious. Yeah, some of the other lines she has in the game are, uh, and her accent is kind of more obvious. That's the worst puzzle in the game. To hear her talk, it's terrible. <laughs> I can solve this puzzle. Back. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb. It's because you're a woman. <laughs> Mutually exclusive. <laughs> Did you notice she was just interacting with the, the artificial environment here? Why is it pretty much just miming it or something? Yeah. It's come a long way since Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I respectfully disagree. <laughs> I hear some bugs. Want to be a jerk, guys? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Let's go be a jerk. I should have been a jerk earlier, it's better. But she's got this uh, little science project here with the bugs in the cage. And you have a magnifying glass, I see. Uh huh. <laughs> if you do that earlier, she comes over and she gets like all pissed off because her bugs flew away. Don't worry, they're going to have to be honest. <laughs> Well, they're from a completely alien ecosystem, so you really <laughs> don't want them loose in this environment, I think. All right, so let's uh, three-route power. Oh, boy. Yeah, ev everyone loves rerouting power, huh? Just like Star Trek. Exactly like Star Trek. Only with 800% more typewriter. <laughs> Do you even know what buttons to push? He's done it before. Yeah. yeah at least explain to us the thought process. Yeah. Uh, you have to deduce it through trial and error. You set wow. the, uh, this is like two, like, take from this pile, put in this pile, click for yes for okay. What are you rewriting power to? The, uh, the forward them? shields. <laughs> to the, the uh, deflector dish. I screwed it up a little bit. That got it. A few dozen extra clicks, but whatever. Oh, what did that do? That, um... We're locked on equally as infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, sent all the auxiliary power back to the dam. So can you pull the dam up? No, I can fire it up to full power. So you had to re power so you could turn on the power. Yep. Everything is really, really convoluted and it's way more complicated than it needs to be. Yeah, because it was... This whole place was designed by a madman. Yeah. So, got the dam going here. Which uh, rotates the explosive machinery over here. Of course, if you have complex metal machinery, you want to expose it to as much water risk as possible. <laughs> yeah. And sand. And bird droppings. Double goes for the uh, large arcing sparks. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You broke something. Yeah. It wasn't me. It wasn't you? Nope. That's what happens just before the opening of Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody rubbed Vaseline on your point of view. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that uh, that got blown up. What got blown up? Everything right here in the blown up area. Whoops. That got blown up. And again, I stress that wasn't me. He did tell you to turn on the dam, right? That's what he, exactly what he told me to do, actually. 
had it's to not your fault. Had to turn all the power back on. And what, that explosion was not caused by the power turning back on. That was something else. Sure. Yeah. You'll see. I'll show you. Let's get back in this elevator. It's always the elevator. Because now we can go Just down. Just like the Air descent to uh, Rapture now? Third floor. This is a perfectly reasonable elevator, guys. Third floor. Cosmetics. Aggravating puzzles. Socks, locks, rocks, jocks, and lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where you get that one from. Sith version of uh, Aquaman. <laughs> okay, so I mentioned that everything is more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go there yet. Let's take a look at the uh, the way you get to the kitchen. Throw a switch to get to your kitchen. <laughs> you yeah. Really ought to reevaluate your design decisions. Well, <laughs> let's think about why you would possibly want to make it this way. All right, there's the parents' room up here. Yep. This is the daughter's room down here. Oh. <laughs> this is the rotating suspension bridge that you have to rotate at least once to go from one to the other. I don't see a lot of reasons why you want that. Why can't you just make multiple suspension bridges? Well, if you're going to molest the daughter, you want to turn the bridge away from the parents. You want to trap her in a room by taking the bridge away. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, I actually don't need to go to the kitchen. Is that the laser Ooh. fire? Uh, where's... There's a chessboard in here that I can look at. <laughs> you are right. What the hell was that? Yeah. Let's go to the kitchen. I really don't need to go to the kitchen. <laughs> well, that's Do you the ask all physics as chess pieces all over the place? No, sorry. I'm in, kind of interested in how this chess game is going, though. Maybe if someone in a new chess could look at that and tell me what's going on. Or whatever. What's the ugly bug in the picture? That was the girl you the saw about two minutes ago. Yeah. So this is the daughter's room. If uh, you might remember from Miss Two, uh -huh. the mid-game puzzle had a ton of those uh, the creature puzzle. Yeah. You to figure out the creatures, the icons from that puzzle were all, all over this rug here. <laughs> might as well give the little girl all the, ant all the crappy, uh, cute animals everywhere. What little girl doesn't want a Jacob's ladder in her room? <laughs> Right next to water. Yeah. Can you open the lid on that and let all the fish fly out? <laughs> <laughs> no. Can you let the electricity in? You have to do some growths first. Yeah, you can read her journal if you want to. You can smell her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, books are interesting because it has this really nice book booky interface here. <laughs> booky interface. That's, that would that's turn completely it. unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. book by Mac. <laughs> so, uh, oh, what's in here? We got that. I forget how to open that. Precious underwear. <laughs> You've got the uh, the bookcase puzzle, which requires you to decode the uh, Dunny language. Oh, crap. And then press the books in the right order. I forget what that order is, but I'm not going there right now. This is a book, which uh, later this thing will be smashed open and the book will be gone. But you can't smash it yourself. No, no, I can't smash it myself, no. Here's a completely useless ball rolling game. It does nothing. That's like those little uh, crappy two cent things you get from the uh, fun world. Yeah. That's but like a total red herring though, isn't it? That yeah. Yep. Especially because oh. in, in Miss 2 there was a child story that you needed to study to uh, 
learn how to decode a numbering system? Wow, that's pretty bastardly. Well, yes. you actually, you found the toy in a classroom, and the way the toy worked is that there was like a little wooden figurine on a little wooden gallows, and you'd pull the switch and the figure would drop and then twitch a certain number of times. And Seriously? It, yeah, and each time the figure twitched, the number would increment. What the fuck? So it was teaching children to count in the most morbid way possible. <laughs> <laughs> and, I didn't even realize that. And that's how you had to learn the numbering system. Wow. Twitching corpse on the noose. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, so I mentioned earlier we got to turn on the lasers. All right. All right, not over here. This Pink Floyd concert isn't going to special effect itself. <laughs> All right. So no lasers yet. Can you cut the blended the color mark in half? I think there are some lasers. I've not seen any lasers. They're inside the fireplace. We'll see them when I get in there. You're getting in the fireplace with yep. the lasers? Haven't you played Mist at all? No. Atris no. loves to hide elevators in his fireplace. Because he's a complete insane bastard. Yeah. He's absolutely insane. So this is looking yeah. more and more like a house I would design if I had the complete and utter power to design a house like this. Yeah, if you um, find Atris's journal like he tells you to and find the crystal combination for the Age of Rhyme and then fire up the crystal viewer to talk to him you'll uh it's a one way like communication so he'll tell you some stuff like hey make sure you should do does your homework then he'll tell, me, tell you to come to his desk and press this to open up a hidden compartment it's not working though is yep. it maybe it's should, it should bother to tell you that you need to open this first before the hidden compartment opens oh so what does that do Let's you read these books, which uh, tell you about the two prison ages that you spend most of the game in. Is that what you're just in the two prison ages for most of the game? That's uh, yeah, like two thirds of the game. Wow. More or less. Well, let's go to the laser fireplace. Lasers. Oh, wait. There's something in here. I found Yisha's memory necklace. Someone chased her. The uh, necklace lets you see memories attached to certain objects memories and places. Memories of your molesting future. <laughs> All right, we've got a laser pattern. Hey, I bet it's some kind of puzzle. Yeah. Anyone remember the fireplace from Mist One? Yep. Yep. Basically the same deal here, but uh, much easier to do. Okay. So how do you know you, get a, you can access a memory on that necklace? It'll glow and make a noise when you can. Oh. Look over here, we've got this uh, big door. Broke off. Which is not attached to the uh, doorway it used to be in. It's well, over here now. It's like using explosive. Yeah. From the inside. And there's a memory attached. Here is the uh, way you get to the prison ages. I don't get you to go inside Darth Vader's uh, cockpit. Yep. It's part of the security system. Why is this? Why do they need the security system? Trapped in a cage. Because he doesn't want anything getting in or out of these ages. Uh -huh. Oh, you, uh, at this point you're just solving puzzles. If you did all the stuff in sequence and solved all the puzzles that didn't bother to solve, you'd basically end up coming over here on your quest for whatever's going on. So on the right we've got Jungle Age, on the left we've got Spire. We're going to Spire because it's awesome. What is your motivation for coming to this place in the first place? Because he told you to. Okay. Oh. Yeah. What if you just didn't listen to him? You didn't not listen to him, you did. So you went to him. Yeah. 
He told you to. Apparently, when you're playing the same uh, character. By what means did he tell you to? That's not specified. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're playing the same character you were since Mist One. Yeah. Oh, this place. Then there's a mist too, a creepy uh, star boy. So oh, this is pretty wrecked up, huh? Yeah. It's nice and busted. Yeah, see when uh, when Atris decided he wanted to visit his sons in their prison ages, he, he wrote a detail into the age that there would be this uh, little visiting area that would suddenly exist. So it's kind of like in regular real prisons. Yeah. Right down to the little cave. No touching, hands on top of the table. No touching. Right down to this little item swapping thing. <laughs> uh, this is the horn they'd use to announce they, they came. But right now that pipe leads to a uh, sort of a shattered end over there. And nobody can really hear that. No. And that's the uh, way back to Tomana right there. The linking book is on this side of the little area. So the sons would hear the horn come up. And they'd uh, chit chat. Chit chat, yeah. Spend some time with uh, whoever was visiting. But this one got all blown up, which is kind of interesting. Why didn't they just spend the time when he was not there sawing through the bars and then steal the book? Did because when Atrus wrote the description of this material, he said it was completely indestructible. So it is. But it's not. It got destructed somehow. Looks like a geode. Yeah. What if they used a saw made of the same stuff? He doesn't have a saw made of the same stuff. Is it that rock material they, they, they used to build their stuff out of? What if he had a lightsaber? Then he could, but he doesn't have a lightsaber. What if he wrote himself a lightsaber? The guy in the age can write, cannot write changes to the age he's in. Because he doesn't have a linking book. But if Luke Skywalker got a linking book and then wrote a lightsaber into the age? <laughs> and there would be a lightsaber in the age. That's Luke Skywalker. And I could cut the bar. Yeah, probably could. This is a creepy age. I think that should happen. <laughs> yeah. Definitely intervention by Luke Skywalker. <laughs> no other explanation, really. Nope, Luke Skywalker stole the book, wrote in a lightsaber, and then that made the guy escape. Mark Curry. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have like a memory associated with that book upstairs? Yeah, but it's boring. Oh, okay. Jump. Jump. No, no jumping allowed. Alright, I gotta reset the recorder right now because it's gonna screw up in a second. It's actually gonna say, do you want to call it quits? Yeah, we can do 